Howdy everybody, I'm going to be showing you how I use Python to connect into my Postgres database. Uh, let me first mention this, I tried to do this in C++ on a Mac. I've confirmed it, obviously I can get it working on Windows and Linux, no problem. Mac, it was tougher through Xcode or whatever, so I kind of abandoned it. But I'm going to try to do the same thing in Python and I've had success. So a uh, couple things um, before we uh, get started. Um, I have a video here called Install Configure Postgres SQL on Mac OS X with uh, a trading database. So search for that on my YouTube channel, okay? You need to watch this video because uh, I'm not going to go into how I source out the data, which is Excel files. I'm not going to, in this video, I'm not going to explain how I build out the database itself with all the tables. I show you how I do that. So watch this video. But I will mention being on a Mac OS 10, there are two tools that I use. Sorry, this one, Postgres and Postico, I use uh, for my Postgres install. First is this one. And what will happen, you get the little famous. Um, icon here of the elephant and we have it running on Postgres or Postgres is running on the default port of 5432. I can open up the terminal and takes me into PSQL so we know that works. Ya ba da ba do. Okay, uh, I'll leave this open for a minute. The other app that I'm using for po is called Postico. This is my client. Now there's this one that I use called Razor SQL. I've used that on Windows. Not bad, but I find that this one's better. But this one's really good for using a graphical tool to set up users, set the privileges, set up tables, and blah, blah, blah. This is a paid one. This is a paid one. Um, depending upon which one you want to go with, it's up to you. But I do prefer Postico. So let me uh, just start it again, relaunch it. Oh. And what's going to happen here is it's going to automatically connect into my local host uh, of Postgres here. Connect. So what we have here in my local host, we have four databases. This is the default, and these are just test, but the one that I use was called QLM. So here's all the um, data uh, tables that I've set up through that this video I just showed you. And let's play with ETF. Now here's the ETF. There's over uh, 12,828 uh, rows in this table. And again, this video will show you how to create and uh, insert that data into these tables. Cool. So we got our Postgres set up. Now, if you do a Google search um, for uh, a couple things. First, I need to explain administrators, or sorry, users. Now, there's create user and drop user. Um, what I've done is, uh, let me show you my notes here. All right, so what we're going to do here is I want to verify my users. Uh, who, what, what users do I have in my current installation of Postgres? So what I do is I'll just open up my PSQL, do uh, basically a, a slash DEU plus, so that will list out all my current users. Or I could do DU as well. Uh, oh, sorry, D, uh, slash du, and here I have this uh, user called quantlabs.net. Okay, so we'll, we'll, I'll show you that in the code. Um, so maybe you need to create a super user. Again, you can do that by obviously Googling it. It's pretty simple, but you have to do that within the PSQL. Okay, now let's talk about um, the code. So... The package I'm using for Python is this one called PSYCOPG. Okay, that's the name of the package that I'm using. So just do your usual pip install in a terminal. 
pip install whatever okay done that numerous times so you need that package once you install that load up the interpreter for Python I can do an import of uh, called PSY PSY COPG2 is that right no PSY COPG2 so I can do the import no problem so it verifies everything cool all right so now let's get into the code code example now this one here in this wiki uh, which is really this one there's various examples that you can run either in the interpreter or run a separate script or whatever you want to do so here in my sublime I've got a script yeah okay so in the code from this site right here will walk you through all that it's pretty it's not pretty straightforward cool thing is what I've done is I'm importing this the, the package I connect into it now remember we talked about the super user here it is the user the host which is local host and my famous high security password uh, and then we connect into it create a cursor and now what we're going to do is we're going to run some SQL using that cursor in this case we're doing a select star from ETF this table right here we just showed that to you right and then there all we're going to do is just go through the rows fetch all and display in all the rows the first column let's run it and see what happens so here I am in the in the proper uh, directory this is the script that we're going to run you can see postgres sql test py and uh, all you gotta do is just do that and there you go it's running and displays all the rows columns of that etf fancy schmancy cool okay so there you go i have now the ability to connect into my postgres environment with the proper tables that i just showed here in Postico and be able to display the data and do whatever I want with it. So there you go. Everything's hunky dory. We're back in business with the same data that I, a database that I've used a year ago with that old system done in MATLAB instead of MATLAB. Obviously, we're doing it in, in Python. So now we can go ahead and start looking at uh, the markets. And I'll show you that in the next set of videos. All right. Talk to you later.